in the previous example, we saw that with a pipe and a sound wave of the correct frequency, hence the correct wavelength, is inserted into the pipe in such a way that when it reaches the very end there is a displacement node and at the beginning there is a displacement antinode, we can have what we call a resonance frequency. We call that the first resonance and we found that with the frequency being equal to 200 hertz, the length of the pipe had to be 42.5 centimeters or 0.425 meters. So what if we increase the frequency of the sound wave such that the wavelengths become shorter, when can we have another situation of a resonance frequency, that of a standing wave? And again, the requirement is that on one end we have what we call displacement node, and at this end, the open end, we have a displacement antinode. Zero displacement, maximum displacement, maximum pressure, zero pressure. And that can happen when we have a situation like this where there's another and let me show that. There's another node, displacement node over here, in such a way that we have a wavelength where three quarters of the wavelength is equal to the length of the pipe. Now we have ourselves another resonance frequency, and we call, the, we call that the second resonance. Now, what is the frequency necessary to get this second resonance? Well, the requirement is now that the three quarters of the wavelength equals the length of the pipe. So let's try to figure that out. So we have three quarters of the wavelength is equal to the length of the pipe. That means the length, the wavelength is equal to four thirds the length. And four thirds the length, well, the length was 0 0.425 meters. That means that the wavelength will have to be equal to this. Let's try to find out. So times four divided by three, and we get 0 0.567. 0 0.567 meters for the wavelength. Now, the velocity of sound doesn't change. It's still 340 meters per second. So using the equation that the velocity is equal to the frequency times the wavelength, which means that the frequency is therefore equal to the velocity divided by the wavelength. Velocity is 340 meters per second. And the wavelength, the way we found here, was 0 0.567 meters. 0 0.567 meters. And let's see what kind of frequency that gives us. So take the inverse of that and multiply that times 340. And it gives us exactly 600 hertz. So that means the second resonance, the first resonance, that was we call that the base frequency of 200 hertz. And the second resonance is 600 hertz. So F, the second resonance, is equal to 600 hertz, which is equal to three times the original base frequency of the standing wave when we have this situation. Wow, three times the frequency, that is known as the third overtone. So the second resonance on a closed pipe is also known as the third overtone of the sound required to set up this next resonance frequency where we have a standing wave and a loud sound coming out. So that's kind of interesting. So, base frequency or the first resonance, and then we have the second resonance, which is then called the third overtone because you require a, a, a sound three times the frequency to set up the next standing wave situation like that in a closed pipe. Wow, very interesting.